enter as a point of contact over everyone here if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that death is looking for you or your loved ones shapakatos ketepata in the name of jesus be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now help them please help the little one now every family here represented i stretch my hands and i declare go forward in jesus name go forward in jesus name go forward in jesus name there is a family that came from Kano. where are they i'm seen by the spirit the lord is telling me there is a family that came from Kano. we have to be fast if there is such a family please let me know so that we can pray i'm seeing that they came from Kano. i want to pray for you right now i don't know if they're inside or outside Kano, i want to pray because we're going to step into a massive massive moment of deliverance strong deliverance that must separate you from and with anything please if you find that family let me have them here i just want to speak to them you came from Kano. let me pray for them right now I'm not saying you are from there. I'm saying you came from there. Let me pray for you. Hallelujah. The overflow outside. I want to pray for them. The Lord is showing me something. The overflow outside. Those outside, I just want you to stretch your hand towards the screen. I want to pray for you. The Lord is revealing something to me right now. The overflow outside. Can you help me camera i want to pray for them our media people let's work together please i'm i'm just the lord is revealing to me those outside the overflow outside please stretch your hands i want to pray for you right now i'm seeing that the power of god is coming on certain people i'm seeing the number 18. i'm going to pray for those inside i don't know why god is ministering to those outside but right now those outside at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus and i want you to bring all the people under the anointing outside are you ready one two three shout jesus. jesus right now i command those devils to leave in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and by the power of the holy ghost bring them outside right now i decree and i declare by the spirit that raised christ from the dead my god i'm seeing yokes breaking breaking right now in the name of jesus the christ of god let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus strong deliverance is even for families in the name of jesus the son of the living god let there be deliverance now those outside yokes are breaking 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 for those outside in the name of jesus christ now those of us inside at the count of three i want to pray for you now please pay attention it is true that there are spirits that oppress people it is true that there are spirits that sit upon the destinies of people and continue to sabotage the purposes of god mysterious occurrences in your life habits that you cannot stop patterns that cannot be broken are you ready now all the other overflows following online at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus that name that is above every other name as you shout that one who is oppressed every family under captivity under the sound under the sound of my voice as they shout that name exalted as both lord and christ let there be deliverance right now are you ready koinonia one two three shout jesus, jesus! release their destinies now please bring them out inside outside release their destinies now release their families now help that woman please release them now by the power of the holy ghost release them now please bring them bring all of them out I like you to open your mouth in one minute 
and begin to declare I am free from everything that ties me down. Please pray. Lift your voice and pray. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Are you praying? Are you praying? Don't be distracted. I declare liberty. I am free by the power of the Holy Ghost. All the overflows in the name of Jesus. Free. Every spirit manifesting in your dreams, taking you back and programming things to your destiny. Right now, I declare fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Every devil from the dream realm, I cast you. Let them go now. Release your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there anyone here? By the name Ishaku. I'm hearing the name Ishaku. Is there someone with that name? Your name? Huh? What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. Daniel Ishaku. Madam, is your name Ishaku? Hold on. Where is your son? You couldn't make it. What is his name? Ishaku. Where is he? He is in Dawaki. I need to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, please, if that is your, not your name, please don't come out. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, according to the word of the Lord, I pray for you right now. A visitation comes not only to your life but to your entire family I stretch my hands towards you and I declare be free now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I bring you life I bring you freedom by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Now, the Lord is telling me he wants to help them, please, up the balcony. The Lord is speaking to me. There are families where it is the women that feed the men. No matter how hardworking you are, the husband is the wife and the wife is the husband, practically speaking. And it may not necessarily be because of laziness. It's just a spiritual pattern that has destroyed people. Right now, I'm praying anyone connected to such a family or such a condition right now the power of god is coming upon you and in case you are standing here and your loved ones are victims of that pattern it is the lord revealing this to me in the name of jesus christ right now right now by the power of the holy spirit be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah now this is an interesting thing i'm seeing but let me pray it anyway there are people the lord is telling me it started from last year using the guise of the pandemic but it's not really about the pandemic you have been losing money consistently till now consistently whether you are in business or not money has been a gradual decline by the spirit of god we're not worshiping money here but if god gives a word on that wise we must respond to what he's saying i want to pray for you now because there are some of you altars have been activated using the guise of the pandemic you will be surprised to see what happens to you now father i am praying even as you have instructed me there are individuals here and there are families that this spirit 
has tied down the resources of the families and continues to bring them down right now let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a very interesting revelation. This is for pastors. This word I'm about to give is for pastors. I'm hearing in my spirit that the seasons of retrogression, the seasons of delay, you are a man of God here, please listen, because something is about to come upon you. If there are people under the anointing at this word, I just wanted to bring them out. Right now, you are, you are in ministry here. The Lord is saying the powers that are holding you down, whether male or female, you are in ministry, missions, pastoral ministry. Right now, I decree and declare there is speed that is coming. May that grace come upon you right now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Help them, please. Take that grace now. No more delay. An unction is coming from heaven, changing your condition by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Reverend sir, the Lord is giving me a word for your wife. And the Lord is saying she's stepping into a new season of the prophetic and of favor. These two graces. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now, Madam, by the spirit of the living God and according to the word of the Lord. Don't bring her out, just keep her there. Step into that season of the prophetic and activation of the grace and the gifting of the spirit upon your life. And also of the season of favor in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing 11 people this is a vision I always see when God is speaking to me about promotion or increase I usually see men climbing ladders and I'm seeing 11 people the power of God is coming on them right now the Lord is telling me that your lifting is a strange season you know I began to announce this from last year Please believe what I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus. Father, where are they? Whether in career, in business, in politics. Right now, take that grace. That grace that lifts. Take that grace. In governance and politics. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus. You are climbing that ladder and no power will stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help this man, please. Help honorable, please hold him. I speak to you again by prophecy that in the name of Jesus Christ, for as many as have seen, some of you are in a season of promotion, but as it is, there are councils sitting down and there are voices that want to bring you down. I stand by the grace God has given me. Help them, please. I push you now. Step into a new season. I push you now by prophecy. Step into a new season. this woman holding a phone i'm seeing fire coming on her this one holding a phone in front right now i don't know what it is but there is mighty deliverance coming for you and your family take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke everything that is not of god let it release you and let it release your family in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a name, Jennifer. My goodness. There is such breakthrough coming for that family. Who is Jennifer? Don't tell lies. Please, we are serious people here. I told you by faith you can connect. It doesn't have to be, please, let's, so that there is a breakthrough. Because I'm seeing, I just saw what looked like coals of fire on an altar. And I just saw it being destroyed. And I saw a door open. This is what I saw. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shatike Parakata, Lekete Brekete Kete Kotos Kotopakata, Embrekete Katia, 
for this family those of you standing in front right now every altar tying your destiny down right now no matter how long it has stayed those in front here fire is coming upon you i set that altar now in the name of jesus i set that altar right now on fire it must let you go now i release your destiny i release your destiny everything holding your lifting it comes under judgment now madam this woman please tap that woman for me lift your hands the lord is saying your life is about to change now i release that grace upon you right now this unction for you this week will not pass madam you will see the way god will turn help her please god is turning things around in the name of jesus christ you see let me tell you this there is a fearful side to god when he begins to move just like that he will turn things around just like that all of them out for the name that name i called huh from Kano. okay you are at the basement let me pray for them i'm going to pray for you all these ones that are out my dear that lady on maroon look at me shout jesus as loud as you can go ahead jesus! Jesus! i command that spirit to leave your family right now in the name of jesus christ now for all of you who are standing here i'm telling you fire is coming on you you came for a miracle service you don't you don't don't forbear with evil if you forbear with evil it will grow i pray for all of you right now fire from heaven let it come upon your life and turn your story around take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now in the name of jesus christ for the family from kano madam these are your children there are two i'm seeing two in the spirit where are they where's the other one in the name of jesus christ that's all right i pray for you look at me in the name of jesus christ everything that represents hardship we bring it under judgment now there is a family that i'm seeing a pattern of the death of men men in that family the lord wants me to pray right now a pattern of death either male children male husbands male father just male figures just keep disappearing where is that family it's time for your breakthrough right now where are you coming from male just is like there is a spirit huh where Bayelsa. where is that by elsa who is this let me talk My to this woman in china she watches online in china yes sir. she's watching now yes sir. daughter connect i'm about to pray for you and pray for your mother madam you believe in the power of god yes, sir. i'm going to pray for you yes, i'd like you to shout jesus where you are yes, sir. go ahead shout jesus. jesus right now i command this altar release this woman now help her release this woman now in the name of jesus christ where is this family i spoke about just a spirit that kills men please people of god look at this look at this for god's sake how wicked and devilish the devil is all your brothers are dead hold on please let me talk to this lady where are you coming from, from don't, don't cry how many of your brothers <laughs> two my two brothers they are all gone Those are the only brothers are my dad and your dad is gone yes. <laughs> you see the bible says how god anointed jesus look how many people are coming one word from god now imagine for god's sake that you leave these same people because it would destroy them and also destroy the male people who are here Please help them they should be careful with that the, the metal stand or um, protocol you should be able to help them on that please are you seeing what i'm saying the stand here please 
the ones in front here too so they don't fall on it look at this now all of you look at me you are standing here because you believe in the power of god lift your hands i'm going to pray for you such fire will fall on you and i'm telling you that altar i don't care how long it is but my bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us at the count of three father i pray that every altar tying down and killing men are you ready one two three take that fire now 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 in the name of jesus i bring you deliverance now the spirit and the altar that destroys men we bring you under judgment you are under arrest now you are under arrest now i release life to this family life to this family and hear me for some of you who the ones who left were the breadwinners of the family i pray may god raise someone else take that grace now may god raise someone else for some of you that someone else is you i place that mantle on your head now go and help your family go and lift your family you may not look like it but let this unction come upon you many of you will come to testify here because doors will begin to open from one door to another door to another door and as i'm praying for them i'm praying for everyone too that in the name of jesus hear me hear me please and believe what i'm saying if there is any family here that does not have at least one person lifted by god to be to help that family i stand by the god of my salvation right now at this august miracle service may god raise people in that family now may god raise people in that family now may god raise people in that family now i raise you by prophecy i connect you to destiny help us in the name of jesus please return to your seats rejoicing we have to pray for the sick now i expect everyone to still be praying please don't be distracted this is a very holy atmosphere and god is turning things around hallelujah i'm seeing a grace a grace hear me i'm hearing in my spirit help and visibility and this grace is coming on everyone but particularly those in the music ministry this is what i'm seeing uh, maybe i worship team people in the name of jesus help many of you want to move beyond this level but i'm seeing that there are powers tying people down even though you are worshipers i stretch my hands let me use our worship people as a point of contact that fire comes on you now from nowhere may help arise for you and anyone here following online who is in the worship ministry the ministry of psalmistry i declare help arises for you now help arises for you now help them please help arises for you now may the lord give your ministry visibility hallelujah praise the name of the lord now let's pray for the sick if you came here trusting the lord for a miracle either for yourself or for someone you're standing in for some of you have already been healed with all the several ministrations but right now i want to minister particularly to the sick if you came with someone you can lay hands on that person now whatever the condition remember what i taught you the maker is also the changer please lay your hands 
any part of your body you're trusting God for a miracle for please lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest I want to pray for you right now believe in miracles some of you are standing in for your loved ones go ahead stand in for them and there are people following online you're following from whatever TV station you're following from the internet by way of social media please connect by faith Jesus still heals the Bible declares Jesus the same yesterday today and forever please connect with someone right now I really believe in miracles did you know that there are people who connect every week from hospitals I know there are people on sick beds right now connecting several hospitals across the world this is because there is a healing Jesus and he does heal he still heals now three things will happen please listen carefully one i am going to begin to pray to rebuke the spirits behind those infirmity and to administer the healing power of jesus i'll do that very fast and then number two the moment i do that be prepared to check yourself already there are miracles happening for those of you who came out under the anointing you know all kinds of spirits usually when they go many supernatural things happen the moment I pray for you, I want you to attempt to do what you could not do before. You find out inside, outside, all the overflows. You find out that there is a miracle that has happened to you. I'm going to request very quickly that you will make your way once we give the permission to, to come out either here or here. We'll have a few minutes to take some testimonies. And then whilst we're doing that, we're going to be um, getting our prayer requests ready so at the same time if you are yet to write your prayer request for those who are following online please do well you have a few minutes to make that happen and those who are healed online you can send in your testimonies immediately by way of our social media platforms we'll do this very fast so that i now speak into your life please listen make sure you stay and receive the prophetic word i need to speak over your life as we are entering what we know to be ember months i don't know why what is it about this month but they seem to hold some mysterious tragedies for people it takes the prophetic word that comes from scripture to build a system of immunity over your life and over your loved ones are you ready now please lay your hands let's pray i believe in jesus i truly believe in miracles i believe god heals i believe he will heal right now just agree with me as I pray the power of God is flowing right now just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out but do well to check yourself if you're laying hands on someone do well to communicate the same instruction father in the name of Jesus you are the healer and you said in your name will cast out devils in your name will heal the sick I am praying right now every spirit that is back of the challenges that your people have been having all kinds of challenges I command those spirits to give way now I command those spirits to give way now right now let the power of the Holy Spirit begin to move from my left to my right from the front to the back from inside outside be healed now be healed now ulcers of all sorts be healed now yet now organ failure system failure let there be restoration now there is someone I don't know whether you are here or you are in a hospital following online you have it's like your kidney is damaged the Lord is giving you a brand new kidney now a brand new kidney now eye conditions of all sorts be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit any kind of lump in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare all lumps go now all those who are on crutches wheelchairs or those who were carried on stretchers 
in the name of Jesus I bring you life be healed now every kind of bone condition back pain pains in your around your muscles your your abdominal region be healed right now in Jesus name there's someone who has what we know to be nose bleeding just like that for no reason blood starts coming out of your nose the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone you have suffered a terrible affliction of skin infection you have tried to treat it and treat it and it looks like nothing is gone right now I'm praying for you you will know the power of God has touched you because the itching will stop instantly be healed in Jesus name there is someone's father also I'm seeing I don't know if it's a kidney kidney condition someone's father the Lord is healing that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ all forms of hearing problems be healed right now in Jesus name hotness in the body severe heat in the body be healed right now in Jesus name now there is someone no matter what you eat it's like you have a problem a unique problem of indigestion it doesn't matter what you eat you have this problem sometimes you even have to throw up what you are eating right now in Jesus name the power of God is touching you now all kinds of pain pain around your body be healed right now high blood pressure low blood pressure be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name in the name of Jesus Christ I like you to lift your voice say after me in the name of Jesus shout it again say in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare that every stronghold attempting to stop prophecy attempting to stop from manifesting in my life I challenge you right now lift your voice and pray oh In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every legal access upon which Satan wants to oppress me, I plead the blood and I declare my liberty now. Lift your voice and pray. 
in the name of Jesus the spirit of ancestry and the covenants of the father affecting my lineage and wanting to affect my life I decree and declare I've been called out of every tribe every tongue every nation release me now release my destiny Lift your voice and say Release me in the name of Jesus. The ordinances of darkness, the spirit of ancestry, Matakoto Shekete, Lekete Pakata, Shapakasko Prekete, Ekeke Shekete, Lekete Prokoto Pakata, Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. The spirit of hardship. The spirit of a hard life. I decree and declare that the Lord judges you over my life. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit of the Adelaide, the spirit of the Adelaide, in the name of Jesus every force of darkness sitting on my glory stopping it from manifesting I curse you in the name of Jesus lift your voice and prophesy I command my life to shine I command my life to shine the Bible says arise shine for your light is come I decree and declare it's my season of triumph. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time in the name of Jesus. Every force stopping my helpers from reaching me through bad reports, 
through divination, through misguided reports. I command in the name of Jesus that the Lord is against you. Release my helpers to my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Whether you understand what you are praying or not, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Thou shall arise and have met your born child for the time to say for her. Yea, the set time, the set time, the set time, the set time. The set time. I like you to pray this one with all your heart. Say the name of Jesus. Every spirit that makes men trivialize my gifting, that makes men trivialize the anointing on my life, that makes men trivialize what God is doing to me, I come against you right now. In the name of Jesus, it's my season of celebration. Lift your voice and prophesy. The spirit that causes men to trivialize what you represent, to trivialize what God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, everything that should be in my life now and was hijacked by the enemy, I place a demand in the name of Jesus. Locate my destiny now. Lift your voice and pray. Like the bones in the valley of the city, I command let bones be joined to bones. Opportunity joined to opportunity. <laughs> in the name of Jesus every force of darkness programmed to kill my prayer life programmed to kill my passion for God programmed to kill my appetite for the world I come against you right now lift your voice and redeem your prayer life lift your voice and redeem your, your world life this but the brothers I want you to pray this. Praise the Lord. Brothers when we raise this prayer and I see any brother looking at me and you are not praying I walk up to you and hold your hand. It's a serious prayer. Say in the name of Jesus the grace for 
city establishment. Lord, release it upon my life. Lift your voice and pray. I want our sisters to pray this with all your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. The spirit of unnecessary lateness. Lateness in life. Financial lateness. I curse you in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. It should happen on time. It should happen on time. There is a time allocated. Every time is not convenient. There is a time allocated. name of Jesus. Father, I know it is within your power to turn my life around. I ask you, in the name of Jesus, turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray. My life around. Do a new thing. Do a new thing. What has not been done before? Not the same kind of miracle. Not the same kind of blessing. Do a new thing. Something that has never happened before. Let me add this one more prayer. He says, Son of man, can this bone And the prophet said, Honestly, I've been a prophet. So prophesying is not something that is new, but this for this case, I don't know. And then he said, Professor, he didn't say discuss, he didn't say cry. In one minute, I'm not going to tell you what to say, but I want you to stand and look at your destiny. I want you to prophesy, carry the word of God like a drum, put it on your destiny. My destiny, I speak to you. You are alive, hear the word of the Lord. I command you to rise. I command you to grow. I program pray for you. Pray. I program pray for you. I come to fight with you in the name of Jesus. I speak to my destiny. You are a manifestation of the word of God. You are a manifestation of the presence of God. You are the manifestation of the goodness of God. I take away pain from my destiny. I take away regrets from my destiny. I take away sorrow from my destiny. I 
that this is a year of trial we are angry and we are insisting that it must happen therefore I decree and I declare that if there is anyone under the sound of my voice under any kind of seed that will not let you see the faithfulness of God I decree and I declare right now that power leaves your life right now that force leaves your life right now Hallelujah. We're about to listen to the word. While your hands are lifted, I want to do an impartation of understanding. Listen. Most people think they know, they understand scripture. It's not true. I decree and I declare, I stretch my hands towards you. May the spirit of understanding, capacity to comprehend the systems of the kingdom, I release it upon you right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. I open your understanding. I open your understanding. I open your understanding. I command your mind to be receptive. I decree that your spirit will be the signal in the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down if you can. God bless you. Good evening. The foundation, as I'm saying it now, please, I want you to check your life. There are many hustlers in life. They like money, but they hate God. They like what God can give, but they hate Him. They like church. They love miracles. They love anointing. They love signs and wonders, but they hate God. They like seed sowing and harvest, but they hate God. Please come, Pastor Alpha. Let me tell you something. I can come to your house and light your bed. Your bed is not you. Correct? I can light your kitchen. I can light your food. I can light your suit. I can light your tie. Huh? I can light your children. I can light your car. All those things are related to you, but they are not you. Anointing is not God. Miracles is not God. Hear me, oh. Breakthrough is not God. Fasting is not God. Prayer is not God. Bible study is not God. God is a person who can be known. You can hang around activities that are related to Him and convince yourself that because you have actively participated in activities that relate to God, it means you know Him. This is the pride of African men. We claim I was born in so, so, so time. This baptistry, we were the ones who dedicated it. The first communicants, we are the ones who laid hands on them. When Reinhard Bonke came, we were the ones who set the canopy. And we add all those spiritual accolades to equal knowing God. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Knowing the things of God and knowing God are two different things. The Bible never said, but the people who come to church. It never said, but the people who drop their tithes and offering. 
he never said the people who are ordained into ministry please listen carefully we are examining the foundation for our results You learn principles without an encounter with God. You are just learning jargons. As powerful as principles are, principles are a derivative of a relationship with a person. Are we together now? Yes. You can know about me by reading my books, but you know me by meeting me. My book is supposed to create an appetite for encounter. Here's what the Bible says. It says, ye search the scriptures. You search the scriptures because you think in them by themselves you will find life. He said those scriptures testify of me. That means reading the Bible should stimulate you to want to meet a person. Much more than opening the Bible. Zodiac books can be opened and you can read. Scientology and all kinds of books can be opened. But if you are reading the book does not translate to meeting a person. You will never be great in life but the people that do know their God show me a man who is willing to go through the price of intimacy I don't care whether he went to school or not I don't care whether he came from what background show me a man he may be an orphan oh goodness what relationship with the Holy Spirit can bring to a man brothers and sisters he can pick a weak person a weak person a weak lady no father no mother no opportunity for a great life but that you are stupid enough to say spirit of the living god you represent the presence of jesus i am willing i am willing like a little child will run to the father i'm clueless about my life and destiny i don't know where i'm coming from i don't know where i'm going to i don't have an idea of what life is about but all i want is you I want to know you I want to see your face I want to know you Lord I want to touch you I want to hear your voice I want to know you Listen Life will challenge your knowledge of god you can know god as a theory one day the reason why many believers give up just like some of you now let me tell you the mystery of tiredness and living god is because there was no encounter in the first place let's be careful the kind of believers who are producing in church i know when i talk like this people think i'm just being sarcastic no i love the body of christ but we need to re-examine the quality of the harvest we are bringing. Because we are bringing believers who don't know God. They don't care about God. They have zero passion for the things of God. They will tell you, I'm not called into ministry. God has called me into business. In other words, keep all that one to the business people. Whoever told you knowing God was for pastors. Whoever told you knowing God was for men of god and their wives and their children but the people that do know their god you want a harvest of strength you want a life of exploits and triumph the first prize is to know god i can pray for you but i can't know god for you you can benefit from my relationship but brothers and sisters everybody will stand before that red sea whether you are married when you get to the red sea pastor you will stand there and your wife will stand before her red sea it is her faith that will bring her victory you can't intercede for people indefinitely forever no sir are we together but the people who do know their god I talk to pastors and they tell me, Apostle, how do you manage criticism? How you, do you manage this? You know, people who like me don't, no longer like me. And I look at them and say, oh dear. You are, just like a patient comes to tell the doctor and says, look, I've been purging, I've been coughing. And while he's talking, the doctor is seeing symptoms of cholera. Are you seeing that now? That's the same way. Do you know most of our lamentations are a window into something that is wrong? Most likely, we don't know God. 
most likely. Mm. That's why you can say, Father, I, I thank you. I know you will bless me. But Lord, if you don't bless me, anything I do, oh, that's your cup of tea. That kind of talk is a revelation that there is no encounter. Because when you know God, He infects you like a virus. You come to a point where you say, Lord, seeking you for results is over forever. I seek you first for who you are. Results or no results, I'm stuck with you. I'm stuck with you. It's a salt covenant. I'm stuck with you forever. Are we together? Everybody say the price of intimacy. Say it. Say the price of intimacy. Can you boldly stand? Please, I want you to listen to my message knowing God experientially. It's a powerful message. Knowing God experientially teaches you the system of knowing God. Let me tell you how God causes men to know Him. He introduces Himself to people and His dimensions in the presence of their challenges and predicaments. Only challenges can help men know God. There's no other way to know Him. The names of God scattered in the Bible were a revelation of Him in the presence of certain challenges. Most people know God as healer just because they saw Benny Him praying or they came for miracle service. But the day you stand face to face with a doctor's report that says, Look, madam, um, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's not like you may not give birth, you cannot give birth. We have done the scan and we realize that you don't even have a womb. He says, sorry, come again. Say, look, I'm a consultant, so you are not talking to a stupid person. There is no womb. At that point, you go back and say, God, is this not your word? Let me tell you what it will do to you. Challenges shake us up all of a sudden and make God serious. You know that there is a way you can be trivializing God. But then, certain challenges just shake you. Ordinarily, you will not wake up by 2 a.m. in the night. But the reality of what has confronted you forces you to wake up. You don't need alarm clock, you don't need Lipton, you don't need coffee. The pressure. And all of a sudden you pray. Let me tell you something. After nine months, when you hold that child, you are not holding a child. You are holding a testimony. Other people are dancing over a child. You are dancing over a testimony. So the day they prophesy and say, May the God that can open up a door in one year, open your door other people are saying amen the moment let me tell you how you receive things in the spirit yes you receive by faith but your past experiences with god help you to receive the newer things he's bringing god looks for something he has done in your life before and connects it to what you are trusting him for are we together when david was fighting goliath remember he drew from the archives of god's faithfulness do you have a name you have given God based on something only you and him know? Or are you just reciting the names that you read in the Bible? Rapha, Jireh, Pastor, there is a name you call your wife. It's none of my business. It's none of our business. That is a product of intimacy. There is a name you call somebody when you are angry. There is a name you call somebody when the times are good. There is a even as friends. Is that true? What is the name of God that is a product of your knowing Him? What name did you give Him? Is there a secret name that every time you call, God says, I know this voice. Uh -uh. No one else calls me this name. When Pastor Alpha's wife hears him calling that name, he can't mistake it. She can't mistake it for me. Even if I know the name, it won't sound like that. There is a mystery behind the name. There is a way when people in the Bible said Rafa, there were too many stories that came to their mind. But today you say Rafa, your mind is blank. No experience to connect to Rafa. Oh, Jehovah Jireh, as Abraham. Abraham knows Jehovah Jireh. But we sing it, Jehovah Jireh, my provider. And we jump around and there is no revelation that connects that. 
that's why africa has resorted to calling him names in their languages because they found out that it, it has it can help when that gentleman was calling whatever he was saying i was happy because he was not just reciting a poem a name that relates to your pain you don't survive an accident and call god jire you call him the deliverer the deliverer so when somebody sees you say how oh, the deliverer is here they say ah, in a prosperity convention say mr man is the dimension of god that was revealed to me that i keep calling what is the name what is the name we've had our fathers call god names that were strange to us we copied it but it's time for us to have a genuine encounter genuine encounter the price of intimacy koinonia please listen to me no level of business acumen no level of education can cover the gap that intimacy was meant to cover but the people that do know their god if you're a pastor please don't do ministry without knowing god you will die like a chicken you will sit down one day on the stage and start crying and the people ask you what is going you say i, I don't know the price of intimacy there are certain things about intimacy i want us to understand number one please i'm taking our time to just i want us to understand this thing intimacy takes time you cannot know a man a woman you are willing to spend time with no sir intimacy is a product of time you don't give god five minutes and get benny Hinn's encounter please god is not that cheap my brother my sister listen to me you need to spend time he must mean a lot to you number two god must become priority to have intimacy with him the bible says don't cast your pearl before swine i've said it you don't come to someone's house and then he takes you to his bedroom shows you where he keeps money no sir when you come sometimes you will even stand at the gate sometimes you will enter and stay inside sometimes you will stay at the parlor you will not even have access to the kitchen but there are certain people while all that is happening the child can run and even enter the bedroom the price for intimacy i look at the lives of people believers yes we are born again yes we are filled with the holy spirit but when i look at our lives i don't see priority passion for god is contagious when a brother likes a lady no matter how he tries to hide it his roommate will know is that true the roommate will say you just spoke to five people but this sixth person the joy at which you used to call that lady this joy is not natural correct you are hugging everybody after service and then the way you hug that lady brother said this hug is too generous for just brotherly kindness no what is there's more to this i say it's true i've been looking at her passion passion has a presence don't lie to us that you love god when we cannot see the passion passion has a presence i hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land all I want is you. I hunger and thirst for you. I hunger and thirst for you. Why am I weary, man? For all I want is you. The third key I'm sharing with you for intimacy to be established one is you must be ready to invest your time you give god five minutes of your time you get five minutes worth of knowledge second is priority third is your willingness to lay down 
heart. The, the Bible calls it the power to lay down. This is where some of you will not like me now. This is where many believers will not like me now. Because our generation has been indoctrinated that you can eat your cake and have it. No, sir. Go and ask anybody, even an occultist. You don't eat your cake and have it. You cannot know God without a sacrifice. I'm not talking money. A sacrifice. Fasting is a sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice. Are we together? Studying the Bible is a sacrifice. We don't like this language at all. Yet we want power. We want results. Sacrifice. There are times that on account of your intimacy with God, you just want to eat and the word of the Lord comes to you. Go on a three-day fast. Oh God, which breakthrough is coming now? God said, this is not the issue of breakthrough. You are about, I'm about to reveal, I'm about to open you up to certain encounters. And I said, God, this is not flamboyant enough. If that you told me that I, after these three days fast, land will manifest from anywhere and come. It's a worthy investment to fast but wh why will i fast to know you what is the big deal about you when i'm looking for land and god will say you see it you see your heart as so i hold my hands again everybody says sacrifice i am amazed at the difficulty that believers go through to lay down the slightest thing slightest thing so this suit you discuss with god for one year before it leaves you are carnal and you don't love him it's the truth empty your account i cost that that devil you argue for two years first and finish the money till ten thousand i say god i will lay it down god says just leave i will tell you when to do it again Are you willing to lay down? Jesus said, I have the power to lay down. Let me show you maturity in the spirit. When a man has gotten to a point where there is nothing you cannot lay down. Abraham, take now thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest. Hi, precious sons. Welcome to the month of April. God's promises for this month of April is going to be massive. It's abiding because his word will not lie the bible said and on the third day jesus resurrected this is not just the third month it is the fourth month and we believe with the significance of the number three the third month has passed so everything might have come to life this is the month where you must blossom you must blossom into the fullness of the possibilities of what god have in stock for your life in this month of April, we we'll promise that we would translate the word of the Lord, we will bring the word of the Lord, we will convey the word of the Lord to your very doorstep, to your very room, the word of the Lord coming from the mouth of God through his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. And on this platform, we trust the Lord that the month of April, as Apostle Joshua Selman speaks over your life, this month will be a smooth month. This month will be a month full of encounters. A month where Jesus literally will visit your life, visit your family, visit your businesses, all you set your hands to do and cause all to excel and to come back alive. God bless you. Don't go. Stay tuned with us for the word of the Lord will bless your life shortly. God bless you.